For the, you got to buy the seeds. He said, I'll buy them, but you pay me back. So uh, the boys put in red potatoes. And uh, they, especially the oldest boy, he just hoed out in that garden. He had to keep it clean, he had to keep the weeds out. He had, and then uh, our neighbor, Mr. Harold Clark, lived down the road a ways from us, and he raised potatoes for, that was his crop that he raised in the summer on his farm. And uh, so he came and the boys paid him to plant the potatoes. And then every time Mr. Clark would go to his fields to spray, why well, they'd have him come in and spray the potatoes so that, oh, they were wonderful. And uh, they sold a lot of potatoes to Jewel Reds. They liked the red potatoes for uh, french fries. Ah. So <laughs> they did, did they that. make some money then? Pardon? Did the kids make some money? Oh, yes, they did very well. And they paid Mr. Clark all that they owed him. For the and, spray. And uh, everything for the spraying and for the planting. But they worked like little tigers out there, keeping the ground cleared from weeds. And <laughs> When did you sell the Orlowski, the store, and then buy the property out in Lowbroad? What year was that? Do you remember the year? Oh. Uh, was it after the war? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It was quite a while after the war. So maybe 1960? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, no, it must have been uh, close to 60 when we sold the store. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So when did you have your children? How, what years? Uh, our oldest son was born in 36. Mm -hmm. Our next boy was born in 39. And our daughter, uh, the very first of 39, and our daughter was born the very end of 1940. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. And they went to school in Charlevoix? Oh yes, they went to school here, graduated here. And then the boys both went into service. Mm -hmm. Our daughter went to Carnegie Institute in mm -hmm. Detroit to school. Mm -hmm. Did any of them come back? Do they live here now? Or? Oh, yes. Uh, my daughter and my younger son lives here. Mm -hmm. My older son lives in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it sounds but, like uh, a good family. Oh, yes. we wonderful. And I have wonderful grandchildren. Well, you certainly have a wonderful positive attitude, Richard. You're well, uh, why not? You're, why not, right. <laughs> uh, you have to trust in the Lord, that's all there is to it. <laughs> you just can't go on your own. <laughs> but uh, it's, been, it's been a wonderful life, and we've all, we love everybody. I've, I always tell everybody I love them, and they look at me, but that's all right, too. Yeah. <laughs>